Oh, hi. It's Rob. And uh, this last weekend was Easter weekend, and I decided to go up and visit my mother. Uh, she's 95 and heading toward death. Um, it's an unfortunate fact of life, but uh, you know we, we know it's coming. Uh, she knows it's coming. She is uh, preparing for it in great strength and uh, her nickname is Battleship Nelly, in case you didn't know. And uh, I wanted to shoot some footage of, of the trip and kind of what was going on. So I left Friday morning and uh, stopped in a few places along the way and figured I would probably try and catch little bits and pieces. I might do more a more in-depth piece later on, but for now, this is what I did. So hey, it's Rob. I am currently on my way up to see Mom. I stopped in Motley to take a break. Uh, it's kind of the halfway point, and Motley is again not uh, not proven to disappoint that this is Trump country. Uh, mask wearing is definitely optional here. Um, although more people are wearing masks this time than were last time I was here, so that's a good sign. Um, it's going to be a tough one, guys. Um, we're going to be going through a lot of the stuff preparing for her death trying to get all the accounts straight, um, locations of all the insurance papers and all the stuff that needs to be accounted for. Um, I'll try and get some, uh, some video of what things I'm going to have to be dealing with once she goes. And uh, I'm a little scared. Anyway, I'll pick this up later, probably when I get up there and get settled in a little. Till then, see ya. Okay, I made it to Bemidji. And, you know, that was kind of what I was going to, planning on doing. Uh, I just stopped and filled up my tank when I got here. Um, now I'm actually heading to Mom's. I'm probably, I don't know, 15 minutes away, if that. <sighs> All right, I'll uh, talk to you later. I'm here. This is the nice rickety staircase. I think this is going to need to be refinished. And it's still pretty solid but it's rough. <clears throat> it's not splintering, which is good, but it is cracking. The stairs definitely need to be cleaned. <clears throat> and the ducks and geese have been here. Oh, that needs to be fixed. If you can see the water. Oh, there's fish. But this uh, this muck that's here, that's about a foot down, is probably six or seven feet deep. That's a northern. Hmm. But let me get past the uh, past the post here. So. Right around that bend, going that way, is the northernmost point of the Mississippi. I actually drove by it earlier today. This is the last bend up before that that top bend. And this is a point that goes out 
Uh, this was my parents' first house over here. Uh, that's where I was, I lived at for a good time before I went to college. There's a cabin back there slightly that's on the same property. But that whole point, mom used to mow that on the riding mower. <laughs> she can't really do that much anymore. Uh, I would really love to be able to dig this out so that we could have boats and things here, but the, uh, the DNR gets kind of cranky about that. Now there's the actual channel of the river is quite a ways out there. I mean, you can't even, you can just barely see it. Um, but it goes around that way before it turns up here. So this area, most of this area that you see is this deep and there's wild rice that grows up in there. And my parents used to go ricing, uh, but that was, you know, 30 some years ago. I don't think you can even do that anymore. Some wood and stuff. And of course, you can't really disturb the uh, disturb the weeds or anything because it's wetlands and on the river and all that fun stuff. So, that stump is interesting. Something's been at it. Not sure what. I don't know if I can really get to it to take a look. I'll try. I think maybe the next time I come up and try and do these steps or at least clean them off. I mean there's a lot more that really could be done here but being this close to the river makes it uh, difficult and all that old wood is just rotten. It's too bad but yeah it comes with being here. ducks and there's an eagle That's not very good. Hmm. I think these steps will have to be redone. are dying. It's not very good. I don't know if you can catch the steepness of this on camera, but it is uh, indeed steep. I can see there's some carpenter ant trails. Looks like maybe it's just falling apart mainly from uh, mainly from rot. Used to be a birch. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> See, that was the one that intrigued me. And I'm gonna guess that's a woodpecker hole. Because there's Yeah, or at least there were ants living in there. I am literally bent over double walking up this hill. little 
deer trail along here. I think I'm over the property line at this point, but it is pretty up here. Some of these birches need to probably need to come down. Some of them are already falling. I don't know how healthy they are, but I like birch trees. Two canoes that haven't been out in the water for years and regular old boat boat also hasn't been out in the water. Little tree branches down, stuff like that. It's kind of getting an idea of what I need to do when I'm up here next time. Kyle's old desk stuff. <laughs> he's a, uh, among other things, he's a musician. But he professionally does installation of, uh, um, oh, installation and programming of some pretty sophisticated digital audio equipment which is fun because then we get to we get to have lots of stuff to talk about but he's a really good guy I'm really glad to have him here there's the uh, wellhead for the pump a little caged in area there is the egress window for the downstairs apartment mom's deck among the things underneath the deck that I'll be needing to get to next time. Some of the insulation coming off. Probably end up redoing some of that. Maybe. I don't know. Probably be nice to uh, do some insulation and ceiling down there. Let's a look at that. The main sewer line from the house goes out to the septic tank, which is in this nice little enclosed space. Uh, she does get this serviced yearly, I'm pretty sure, either yearly or twice yearly, but I think it's just yearly to make sure that it's pumped out so that it runs and doesn't back up anywhere. And I think the drain field is back here, which is just fine. road I guess for the uh, for the sewer guy <clears throat> yeah, more birch trees Oof. I don't think those are on the property but uh, yeah they're rotten on the inside already Mom's been doing some pretty good work on decluttering and finding all the, uh, the paperwork that she wants to keep. Um, this is the outdoor shed, which is chock full. Um, this is the one that's going to probably take the most time because there is a lot 
of stuff in here. Some of it I'm going to want to keep, like this is my dad's old workbench, and that is still in really good shape. Uh, and then there's an antique uh, kitchen table and chairs here that used to be in our cabin that I really, really like. And that's that's mine if I have any say in it. Oh, shovel. Yay. Okay. But there's, you know, some extra siding for the house. There's stuff in here that's I don't know what all. Um, so I'm going to have to go through this, sort it, you know, probably set up an estate sale and all that fun stuff. Because I'd really like to take this and clear it out and then put insulation and some proper siding in to make it more of a uh, <clears throat> more of a workshop that can be used. Um, a little additional stuff out back. Yeah. The old mattress frame. I uh, used to drag that behind a boat to clear out the weeds. And I don't think you can do that anymore. I'm not really sure. That was, that was kind of Dad's thing. Um, he's been gone for 30-some 30, 30 years. So... Lots of leaves and stuff that can be turned into mulch pile, which I think Mom used to do, but she's just not up to it anymore. Um, I think that's back there is uh, a mound that's used to be mulch pile. A little sort of front garden that's pretty much gone to gone to weed at this point, but that's okay. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hello, little girl. I see you there. I see you there. Pardon? Oh, good. Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Aw. I'm sorry you scared of me. I'm really nice. I'll give you treats. <laughs> Was the roof okay? I haven't been up there yet. I'm going up there next. You can go in in the back and make sure everything's the light down at the bottom and Okay. Just turn it off when I come back up. Just, yeah, and make sure the door is pulled shut. Okay. Marcy, where are you going? Where are you going, little city? I think she was up here. I, I put her out down there and put her out up here. No, I she was downstairs when I went down, but she was scared. And so when she ran, she came up here. I but, think we went out this way and then walked around. Okay. Well, I'll let you take her in. I don't want to scare her anymore. So. Well, if she goes out, then double check that the door is pulled shut. That's all. I will. All right. Uh, I need to fix Mom's Christmas tree. The base is broken down there in one of the... The 2x4 that's going across the bottom cracked, and so it's only held in by one screw and it tips over too easy. I'm also going to need to get some LED lights for it and do that this year before she comes up. I might see if I've got some at home. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, okay, here we go. Ladder time. And y'all know how much I like being on ladders. This is the seamless gutter mom had put in. So 
some nice detail. It's got the little ice dam thing there. Okay, just from first look. And the, they're starting to curl, but they're not really coming up. They were coming up on the ridge, but I've got those glued down. Uh, the integrity seems to be pretty good. A little bit of discoloration, but it's not too bad. I think that this roof has at least two to three more years in it. Um, I know that what she was looking at is if she needed to replace it, she wanted to do it with metal roofing, which I think is probably a good idea for the long term. <coughs> I, I'm going to put you down because i got to get off the ladder and nobody wants to see that. I don't know, maybe you do. All right. No, okay, I guess maybe you get to watch it sideways. Yeah, the ridge definitely is a little, uh, little wonky, but in general, it's still staying down. Some patches here and there where bits have broken off the shingles, but again, not too bad. The uh, Covering is flaking off, but that was doing that before. That's not a new thing. You can see the staple they put in. It's a ways down. I don't want to fall. this ridge. Battery died in the camera. So uh, let's pick up with this one. Starting to peel up a little bit. A roof slide would be really nice. <clears throat> 
should have put it up one more rung. Oh. <sighs> 